Hey guys, it's Dan Takahashi. Today I want to talk about something uh, a bit more serious. Usually I'm on YouTube and uh, talking a lot about uh, investing, economics, uh, political issues, uh, how to improve your lives and make money. Today I want to talk about something a bit more serious, something that I think is a, uh, a grave social issue in Japan that I uh, embarrassingly have only just realized today. Uh, today, a uh, big piece of news came out in Japan. Um, a very famous actor then by the name of Haruna Miura san, he uh, was found uh, deceased in his apartment, and it uh, seems that he has taken his own uh, life, unfortunately. Uh, my deep condolences go out to his family and friends. Um, I saw this piece of news, and it completely changed the way I thought today. Uh, I've been really focused on doing videos on uh, economics and investing and, uh, you know, pretty much ha how, how to help you, uh, the viewers, uh, sort of make money and whatnot and success. But this is an issue that I had not even thought about uh, trying to look into uh, for Japan. And especially as a Japanese citizen and as somebody who has uh, lived all around the world, I feel like I had to do, it was my um, responsibility to do some more research into this and look at the data and look at what is going on in Japan and see, is this really a problem? How do we solve this issue? And sort of my opinions on the issue. So hopefully uh, you can take a few minutes today and uh, listen to what I have to say. Um, number one, you know, I guys, this is a very, very sensitive topic. I want to be very careful about how I talk about this. I have personally experienced friends um, both in high school and in college. Uh, who have taken their own lives. Um, it's something that is very touchy uh, for me as well. It is also difficult to talk about. Uh, I don't like talking that much about my personal uh, history. Uh, I'm a bit uh, defensive, uh, I guess is the right word. Um, it, bring back, it brings back pain. Um, but when I see something like this happen in Japan, uh, I feel like it's, it's my responsibility as somebody who's on social media, even though I'm new, I should look at the data, see if there is something that we should be aware of as a society, uh, not just Japan, but for the world. And, you know, I also went to a school, um, Cornell University, where unfortunately it does have a reputation where the suicide rate historically has been a little bit higher compared to the other universities. And, um, you know, I also experienced uh, the great financial crisis I was on Wall Street. Uh, when the crash happened and I was only 21 years old, but I was working very close, a little proximity wise to Lehman Brothers, also the Bear Stearns. And I also uh, heard stories, uh, saw people uh, try to uh, you know, injure themselves in ways. Uh, and seeing this throughout the world and seeing this throughout society, uh, I feel like as human beings, there is something that we can look into to try to prevent something like this happening, or at least decrease the rate. We can't make it zero, perhaps, but at least we could try to work on the problems and really look into the deep social issues as to why this is happening and how we can maybe help at least those around us to be preventative. Because obviously, after it happens, it's too late. And we all focus on the news and say, oh, this is terrible. Um, you know, my condolences go out and blah, blah, blah. But then, you know, I don't, then, then I feel like the energy subsides. And I think it's important for us to focus right now, while there is a little bit of energy and focus on this, to see if there are ways in which we can prevent this in the future. So I would like to today share with you a few minutes about some of the data that I uh, found. First and foremost, um, guys, there's a lot of data on this, and it depends on the time frame you look at. Uh, but in depending on the suicide rate, uh, measuring it based on a number of percentage of the population, looking at OECD data among the G20 countries, uh, it seems that there's a lot of different types of calculations. And we need to be very, very careful about looking at some of these countries. Uh, for example, in this analysis here, we see countries like Russia are actually quite high, but I actually looked into this and uh, Russia, some of the crime, uh, when it is difficult to decipher what happened, it often gets labeled as a suicide, even though it's not really clear as a suicide. So we have to be careful maybe looking at the data from Russia uh, compared with other countries. So when something is denoted as a suicide, it 
sometimes it depends on how clear the data is because sometimes people are found deceased and you know the local police authorities the local authorities will just immediately label it as a suicide if they cannot find the reason so that's that's an important first uh decipher that we need to make but looking at this data um it to be honest shocked me uh so if you let's say yes russia is high but i i saw the article on the news on i saw the data uh sort of opinion on russia so uh you know i don't know how much we should be focusing on russia but looking at japan and korea they are the two highest countries of suicide rates uh pretty consistently not just right now but over the last 20 years and japan was actually the highest country in the world for a lot of the 1990s and 2000s so this is actually a grave social issue in japan uh and i'm very embarrassed to say guys that i just realized this today uh and this is very embarrassing that i only realized this today i was not aware of it so it came uh as quite a shock to me uh korea i also did not realize it was this high uh i have many korean friends i've been to seoul a few times it's a wonderful country I had no idea that the suicide rate was this high. So I started actually looking into more as to what's going on. Um, there was actually been some uh, data analysis on suicide rates in Korea and Japan and looking at by sex, by age group, by method of the suicide rates and looking at the confidence intervals. We can look basically that when the number is higher here, uh, there's a higher percentage of the population engaging in this type of activity. And it seems that from research papers, this was just published only a few years ago, uh, that the highest method of suicide is usually coming between the age group of 30 and 40. Uh, you see 4.65 right here. Um, also, the highest method of suicide also comes from poisoning, usually not hanging, because uh, poisoning is probably really, uh, less painful. And overall, combining between sex, age, and method, we see that the highest is usually from the male ratio in the 30 to 39 range, uh, or the female ratio in the 20 to 29 range. So it seems that this uh, seems to be, unfortunately, um, a very common occurrence, especially a little bit more in males and females, and a little bit more in the 30s range. Another thing that I sort of was looking into at, and this is sort of an international psychological analysis, that uh, it seems that people who are diagnosed uh, with higher intelligence uh, whether self-diagnosed or, or, or third-party diagnosed, have a much higher uh, probability of suicide, mood disorders, anxiety orders, and other types of mental disorders. So uh, this I sort of knew beforehand, but it was, only, it was not based on data. It was very, very surface level, only of word of mouth. Now, uh, the most important piece of news that I thought today that I sort of found was uh, now focusing on Japan and specifically on Japan. And this is something that completely terrified and scared the living bezegas out of me. I could not believe what I saw today. Um, this was just uh, a, a news this was a, a news report that was announced just in 2019, uh, so less than a year ago, actually just about a year ago given today's date. And it notes that among the G7 countries, uh, Japan is the only country that has the leading cause of death between the ages of 10 to 39 is suicide. I'm going to say this again because I'm still shocked. Re reading this right now, I'm still shocked. Even more alarming is that the number one cause of death among people between ages 10 to 39 in Japan is suicide. Number one cause of death. The country also holds dubious distinction of being the only G7 member to report suicide as the highest cause of mortality for citizens between 15 and 34. It's absolutely ridiculous. According to a white paper on suicide prevention, analysis of suicide in younger generations over the 10-year period up to 2018 showed that academic issues such as bad grades, advancing to the next level of school were the biggest reason people aged 10 to 19 took their own life 10 to 19 uh so we're talking teenagers here and looking even more at this data it was even more alarming to me that the suicide rate in japan especially given uh has a very very high correlation with the economy uh during 2009 uh when the economy was uh, obviously after the leaming during 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 the great financial crisis uh, the suicide rate in Japan was extremely, extremely high. In 2009, Japan's suicidal total rose to 2% in 
32,845, equivalent to nearly 26 suicides per 100,000 people, significantly higher than any other OECD country. So, looking at history, Japan not only has a normally higher rate of suicide, but especially during economic hardship, there's a very high rate of suicide in Japan, especially in men, also women as well. But this is, to me, I, I, this is an unacceptable situation. Number one cause of death among people between 10 and 13 in Japan is suicide. Only G7 member country, the high, suicide is the highest rate of mortality between 15 and 34. The only country. Guys, what the heck is going on? I, I mean, I love Japan. I love my country. But there is something wrong with society if we're the only country in the G7 where the highest cause of mortality is people taking their own lives. It's not getting hit by a car. It's not a disease. It's not something else. It's not a third party related accident. It's not a third party related. It's not even related to uh, a health reason. It's taking your own life. This is a country that we already have a declining population problem. And on top of that, we have this large social issue. To me, it shows that we need to wake the hell up. And this is a big issue that needs to get solved right now. I mean, yes, a government did a white paper on this. Okay, I'm looking right now. Yes, a white paper has been done. There's been some policy announcements, but this needs to be a little bit more aggressive. Maybe the, you know, the number of people is not that large. We're talking about maybe tens of thousands. It's still a pretty, pretty damn big number, I think. But as a percentage of the population, somebody might, somebody might say, okay, okay, it's not a humongous percentage of the population. But the fact that it's occurring, when one person commits suicide, this creates ripples throughout society where everybody reads this news and it creates a depressing factor for society. I feel sad today reading this news. I'm usually a pretty optimistic person. I feel quite sad today. And I can't imagine I'm the only person that feels this way. Stuff like this needs to go down. It's not good for society. Uh, I, I mean, it, you know, who am I to say? I'm not a psychologist. I'm an economics guy. I'm a finance guy. I'm a business guy. But this data is very clear. I mean, the only G7 member with <laughs> to have something like this, there is something strange with Japanese society going on. Um, I think that this is related due to, to the social pressure going on. Uh, it's always been part of the Japanese society. I mean, I you know grew up with it with us as well. A lot of social pressure here, not just to get good grades and just to succeed, but also just to uh, how you are uh, perceived from others. Uh, it's very, very important. And there's a lot of phrases here. A lot of very strange parts of this culture that I did not realize either. I mean, even being a Japanese citizen, I grew up most of my life in the States. I went to all sorts of, I went to 60 different countries and I lived in six or seven. This is by far the most unique culture I've ever experienced. Honneto uh, tatemai, it basically, uh, there's this phrases that say like, uh, there's your inner self and then your outward self. Uh, and most people only show uh, the outward part and they, they don't really expose the inward, so, inward self. There's also phrases here like uh, uh, like basically a nail that sticks out gets, gets hit. Um, so there's enormous social pressure here. And for a country right now that we already have these large, very large, I think, economic problems, financial problems, uh, humongous, humongous debt level taxes are going up. Uh, the economy has still not recovered back to its uh, GDP high. Uh, wages have barely gone up at all. This is something that we absolutely cannot accept, and this needs to change. I don't know what the solution is. Uh, I'm thinking about it right now, but I'm, to be honest, this is brand new information to me. I don't know how to think about this yet, but hopefully, um, with the help of others. Uh, we can all come up with a solution together as to how to deal with this. But this is just unacceptable. Um, especially now we're talking about, I also saw a newspaper article that in Japan, the leading death cause between children, between 10 to 19 is suicide. We're talking children here. Children, like what the F is going on? This is insanity, guys. I mean, even one is a problem. But let her know that's the leading death.
I mean, it's it's it, it's it's beyond sad. Sad is not even the right word for this. Uh, I am you know torn to see this happening to my country. Uh, I would like love to do something different about this. I mean, the you know only piece of advice I could give is that uh, of reading a lot of this data, the cause seems to be uh, related to sheep by like people being scared of making uh, you know after going through a big mistake or error in life and they really feel down and they get really down and this tends to be happening of course throughout culture but especially a little bit more among celebrities as well but really feeling down and this is something that um you know throughout investing it is a little bit related in the sense that when you go through big highs and you also go through big downs, right? Especially being an entrepreneur, uh, being somebody who's been investing almost all my money, all my life. I haven't had a salary since I was 22. I've met a lot of people like that. And the ups and downs can be sometimes very harsh where you work on something. It doesn't have to be money. It could be a relationship. It could be a project. It can be your dream. You work on something for a long time and then it doesn't work all of a sudden. And because of all the social pressure and the attacks from other people telling you that you've done a bad job, uh, that you get even more bad, that this needs to stop in Japan. This needs to stop today, right now. I don't know how to do it, but the only piece of advice I could give is that do not feel afraid, Japanese people, of making a mistake. It's fine to make mistakes. Make tons of mistakes. Anybody who tells you don't make a mistake, ignore them. That's right, ignore them. This is a very strong thing for me to say, but yes, people telling you don't ever make a mistake, ignore that person. Mistakes are okay. And I really want to emphasize this, especially to the younger generation. Make tons of mistakes. Read books about so many famous people, non famous people, people who are happy in life all across the country. Most of these people, they've made tons of mistakes. Humongous, right? So don't feel scared ever. Um, and Guys, I mean, look, I, I'm not even close to, I'd say, a very successful person, but I've made big, I've almost gone bankrupt two or three times. I've lost people in my life uh, that are very important to me. I've had death threats at me, uh, just being in emerging markets. I mean, even if I'm not doing anything wrong, you get threatened. I've been threatened many times, literally with a gun. Like, and, and it, you know, these things happen in life and we have to make, do the best with our situation, overcome the situation and move on. And I really want to make this message very strong across to especially uh, Japanese society. I mean, of course, to the Korean society as well. Uh, I don't have a Korean ancestry, but reading this news, it seems that Korea also very, has a very, very high rate of uh, death suicide rate as well. So sorry I blabbered on and on, guys, but hopefully this message uh, reads to some people. Uh, please always feel free to reach out to myself if you feel like you're going through a, a very difficult time frame, especially if it relates to investing. Uh, with money, that's something that I can help with. I'm not going to give you money, but I could give you advice on what I've done, what people I know of around me have done to overcome these obstacles. So thanks again for watching my video, guys. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. Please also uh, feel free to comment on what you feel about today's note. Thanks so much, guys.